I was going to retire after Beijing, I was going to retire after London. But I guess I just got that swimming bug and who knows, I might be swimming till I'm 80 for all I know. I went to bed last night and I was thinking about first S9 was to 28, I was so excited. And I was just lying on my pillow and I had a smile on my face while I was lying in the dark. And I'm like, get yourself together and go to sleep. And I couldn't do it, I couldn't go to sleep. <laughs> Four years ago, um, I was close to making it and then after that, I was like, I'm not waiting another four years. I'm just too impatient. I don't want to wait another four years to go to the Olympics, but it's come by so quickly. Yeah, I don't know. I knew that it would be a really competitive race, you know, with Emma, Alicia, you know, Britt and Breville, very strong hundred flyers. And I just wanted to focus on myself and, you know, it worked. <laughs> I can't wait to go and rewatch the race. <laughs> I rang Chris Mooney, my coach now, and he's like, what do you want? And I told him what I wanted, and it's to be an Olympian, and he's like, we're going to get you there, so. I'm really happy, I was hoping for a little bit faster, but I think everyone always does. But, um, you know, I got the job done, and it's pretty solid time, so I'm happy with it. Yeah, no, I was, I was very nervous, and I think when I got out there, I just told myself, you know, I have to be fearless, and race how my race plan is, and... I think that's what I did and um, I'm just so happy to have gone into that qualifying time, yeah. <laughs>